we say, men of the West, I hold you to your oath. Bop, bop, bum. That's what we're looking for, right? Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. What are we doing tonight? We're doing a deck that I've kind of wanted to do for a while. Um, it's with a card that is very powerful and very busted if you kind of line it up right. And that is King of the Oathbreakers, which apparently um, I did not give a name to. Where is he? Hey, there he is. Oathbreaker. Boom. Um, King of the Oathbreakers. Very, very cool card. So we're doing a spirit token just swarm deck. We absolutely will knock people out in one hit with this one. There's there's a really cool combos you can pull off with a lovely Orzhov spirit token deck like this one. Um, Kaya, all that good stuff. So before we get down to that, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what I need you to do for me? That is, of course, tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Don't smash them. Everyone wants you to smash those buttons. I don't. I just want you to be easy with them. Uh, or else you will be attacked by the like and subscribe if you don't do that. So that's important to remember that you'll be mauled by a werewolf. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainjay for all the stream goodness. But this was actually streamed on YouTube. So uh, I'm starting to stream more on YouTube. It's something you're going to see more often. So click that bell in case you want to be notified when I go live on YouTube. And you can be there at the filming of some of these uh, decks. You can see me live and in person. Um... You can check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information. We'd love to have you there. You can talk to everyone, post memes, ask questions, uh, get great advice there. And, of course, this deck and all the other ones that I built are available down below on my Aether Hub. So if you want to check out that Aether Hub, it's going to be right down there. Uh, it's going to have all my decks, including this one. That's where you get the deck list. So what are we talking about when we talk about Oathbreaker? Well, we're going to be starting. We wanted to hit some trigger uh, ability. So, so Homestead Courage, why do we have this? Well, it helps to get Vigilance. It helps to get, and it helps to target a creature for cheap and flashback it for cheap. Why do we want to do that? We got to go all the way to the end here uh, because he's kind of our de facto commander. He is kind of the main guy. He's not a commander, obviously, but he's in charge of this deck, so to speak. So King of the Oathbreakers, we got to talk about him first. One black, one white, and two, three, three flying. Not bad as it is, unless decent stats, but what's really busted about him is whenever King of the Oathbreakers or another spell you control becomes the target of a spell, it phases out. Okay, so if any spirit you control becomes the target of a spell, target of it, doesn't matter what the spell is, it will phase out, it immediately disappears. It functionally makes spirits invulnerable except for... Uh, I think maybe board wipes, maybe enchantments don't trigger that either. Um, but yeah, if you cast a spell, they're going to phase out. You can't get rid of them. So every single spirit we have has that ability. And then whenever King of the Oathbreakers, another spirit you control phases in, create a tapped 1-1 one, one white spirit to creature token with flying. It generates more spirits when it comes back. It goes and gets its buddy. It says, oh, something just happened to me. I got to go get the crew. And it goes, gets them. Um... That's why we want to use Homestead Courage, because we want to generate spirits by casting our own spells on our creatures. Phase them out, and then phase them back in again with these uh, spirits. Um, because we can get double token generation, we can also make tokens more powerful and all that stuff like that. So we want to do that as much as we can. Homestead Courage kind of lets us do that repeatedly. Lunark Veteran, uh, one white. Every time we are going to be generating one of these tokens, one of these spirits for us, uh, Lunark Veteran, of course, is going to gain us a life, which is really nice there. One white drop. Then he becomes a spirit. Um, if you look at his card, which it won't show me the other side of it, uh, he basically becomes, you play that Disturb cost, um, and he becomes a 1-1 one, one flying spirit. And when something dies, uh, he becomes a... It won't, it won't show me the other side. Anyways, we're having a double side problem right now. He becomes a 1-1 a one, one spirit. When something dies, he does. So he'll actually become a spirit. So very useful. Ossification, a little bit of lockout, a little bit of destroy target, um, exile target creature or planeswalker, turn him into stone. Yeah, any kind of removal there would be fine. I, I've been going more with ossifications. a little bit easier to work with. 
Uh, so it's not bad to run Ossification, but really any kind of removal is fine. Valorous Stance. This is another form of direct removal. This is your Sheldred killer right here. We got to be able to get rid of Sheldreds. It also gives somebody Indestructible, which we can choose one of our own creatures. And if it's a spirit, we phase him in, we phase him out again. So kind of a useful card right there. Voice of the Blessed, a very powerful spirit from Vow. Uh, two uh, Crimson Vow, two white, two two. Whenever you gain life, put a one one counter Voice of the Blessed. As long as Voice of the Blessed has four or more one one counters on it, it has flying and vigilance. So if it's a four, if it's a six six, it has four counters on it. Uh, as long as it has ten or more, it becomes indestructible. Well, that's where things really become crazy at that point, right? They become nutso cuckoo at that point. I don't, I don't know why I said that. Anyways. The point is, is that he gets more and more life, you get more and more powerful. How are we gaining life? Well, every time we trigger an effect with our tokens, a Lunar Veteran will generate more. Uh, really, really cool. So every time a creature enters the battlefield, it's not if we cast it, if it's entered the battlefield as a token, he'll get more and more powerful. So the more we spam tokens, the better it gets for him, the more powerful he gets. And again, he's a spirit. When you have King of the Oathbreaker out and, he, and they try to even get rid of this guy, he's just going to phase out and phase right back in with a buddy. Uh, very useful. Katilda Dawnheart, another spirit, great one here. And Katilda's Rising Dawn. Two white, um, two white and one, blank, blank, flying, lifelink, protection from vampires. Not super useful right now. But Katilda uh, Dawnheart's Martyr, Power, and Toughness are equal to a number of permanents you control that are spirits or enchantments. Guess what? We have a decent amount of enchantments. We got a lot of spirits. Uh, really useful and one of those lovely things that if it dies even before we get the oathbreaker ability we can do the disturb effect on it enchanted creature is flying life link and protection for vampires gets plus one plus x plus x again giving having a life link powerful life link creature is extremely useful on something like voice of the uh, out just out on the board and if you put that enchantment on voice of the blast well now it's generating its own life things get really out of control crazy it's also a legendary i also want to point that out she is a legendary creature spirit warlock which is going to be relevant uh in a minute you're going to see why that's going to be relevant because we need decent amount of legendaries to do what we need to do um wedding announcement again great one from vow one white and one very powerful card probably the most on meta card i have in this this was kind of on people's short list to be banned just because it's so just so much utility in this uh at the beginning of your end step put an invitation counter on wedding announcement if you attacked with two or more creatures this turn draw a card otherwise create a one one white human creature token um then if uh wedding announcement has three or more invitation counters on it transform it then of course creatures get plus one plus one so if you attack with two or more you get the option of drawing a card and if you don't you're going to generate a one one uh, white human creature token of course generating a token will will trigger um life gain from that very nice kaya geist hunter there she is another vow we had a lot of spirits in vow very very spirit heavy deck one black one white and one the classic orza of colors right there legendary uh, legendary creature uh, legendary planeswalker creatures you control gain death touch until the end of turn every single if we have a swarm of of, of tokens all of them have death touch brutal absolutely brutal until the end of turn if one or more uh tokens would be created under your control twice that many tokens are created instead so we can possibly generate double the amount of tokens unbelievably useful with um wedding announcement and Daryl and king of the uh king of the oath breakers if you know they're coming in generating uh tokens you get double then of course you can exile all creature cards from all graveyards then create a one one white spirit token with flying for each card exiled this way brutal hit brutal hit we resurrect the whole thing into spirits uh really nice to run four kayas in that if you can't afford four kayas i'm not mad at you run run two kayas and two more removal that'll do you fine here it is anduril flame of the west um the sword of the king of aragorn uh, three drop equip two kind of difficult to get out but when you get the combo right it's very useful equip creature gets plus three and plus one very very nice a lot of aggression right there but here's the fun part whenever equipped creature attacks okay create two tapped one one white spirit creature tokens with flying if that creature is legendary instead create two of those tokens that are tapped and attacking so now if you have a legendary creature swinging in either king of the oath breakers or katilda that's why we want a decent amount of legendary creatures in it it's kind of going to help trigger that you're all of a sudden swinging in with a six three king of the oath breakers right here who is generating two one one spirit tokens tapped and attacking guess what happens when that triggers off you could of course have kaya make it 
four 1-1 one, one, uh, spirit tokens tapped and attacking. Not that easy to f block that many flying creatures. You potentially have attacking with Voice of the Bless, and if you have Lunark Veteran, guess what? You've generated two to four more creatures. That's one more ping of life gain for each one. Absolutely brutal. Uh, wedding announcement, maybe they're all getting 1-1. One, one. Now they're not 1-1 two, one, one flyers, they're 2-2 two, two flyers, or 3-3 three, three flyers. You can absolutely sweep out, just like the movies, an undead army, a spirit army just sweeps out of nowhere and wins the game for you. Just crushes. Uh, very, very fun. Very cool. Uh, so combining Anduril, Oathbreaker, and all of these other ones, just a good time. Just a good time at all. Um, it was just really fun just sweeping out of there with them. So as far as land is concerned, I didn't really put any legendaries in it. Eh, whatever. I mean... You can put a Minas Tirith for card draw. You could put a Bar of Dur. We don't really need a Bar of Dur. Uh, a Minas Tirith is not a bad idea. Caves of Coilo, Shattered Sanctum, Seven Plains, Eight. If you want to put an Edge Ganjigo, you want to put a Takanuma. Yeah, I'm not mad at you. Whatever. Uh, you can go for it. But Bar of Dur is not really relevant. Um, Minas Tirith isn't bad. Uh, two or more creatures. Yeah, it's a little extra card draw. So if you want two of them, I yeah. Well, the problem is we don't want to go too slow because we aren't really the hastiest. Again, we're kind of a mid-range combo deck. We want to move a little faster, so I'm hesitant to put stuff in that generates very slowly. So 12 spirits, 16 creatures. You're saying that's a low amount of creatures, Jay. That's, you know, 20 maybe should be what we have there. Guess what? Don't worry about it. We have a lot of creature generation in the deck. Okay, so there's a lot of things that make more creatures that aren't just creatures themselves because we're focused on tokens. Two instants, four sorceries, two artifacts, four enchantment, eight enchantments actually, uh, four planeswalkers, 24 lands all together. We have our cool uh, trippy vaporwave uh, uh, backs on there, a little spider guy. I don't think we have any spirits to uh, put a spear. Yeah, we actually have a little king spirit right here, a little noble guy. I should have put him on earlier. Uh, 2.4 average. I wouldn't worry about that so much. It's 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 relatively fast uh, if you just mulligan to the right hand. A lot more white than black, but it is Orzhov. It is solidly in the Orzhov territory right there. Um, I would not call it anything different because Oathbreakers and Kaya are really essential, even though it's heavy white. Uh, it really does rely heavily on those two. Again, you could always put some more destruction in it. You could put any kind of uh, destroy that you want. Um gonna it's gonna do that real quick you can put any kind of destruction you want in the sideboard uh that's fine like if you wanted to do um uh, not lands right yeah if you wanted to do uh fateful absence if you wanted to do cut down yeah if you wanted to do infernal go for the throat even a soul transfer for another exile sure the removal package is going to be kind of up to you and what you want and what you feel like you need if you're going to be one of the Awesome, cool, best of three boys. Love to see you out there, best of three boys. Um, that's fine. Uh, you don't have to use the enchantment. I like to use the enchantment um, uh, removal here because it does feed into Katilda. So that's kind of why we want more enchantments. It does make her a little bit more powerful combined with the spirits generally. So there's kind of that synergy going on. But sure, yeah, different removal package. Um, no problem there. That's what we're looking at. King of the Oathbreaker is the only four drop, believe it or not. Everything else is a one, two, or three. He's our, uh, he's our, uh, final one there. Rite of Oblivion, da Danilo saying, yeah, Rite of Oblivion, that's a great one too. Um, welcome Danilo. That's, you, that requires a sacrifice. Uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's give or take. If you have a lot of tokens, it's going to be pretty easy to, to put that in there. So yeah, definitely you could consider that one going in there. Um, that's a great one. Um, I, I rarely, I, it's, it's, uh, it's weird that I never really use that one. So exile target, online land permanent, permanent. Sure. Yeah. Go for it, man. Uh, good stuff. So that's what we're looking at right there with this King of the Oathbreakers. Very cool deck. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Pushing up platinum. I think we're almost pushing to plat two, plat, plat one. Hopefully we'll push diamond this weekend and then we'll see about doing it. Here we go, guys. Let's get a new game right here. Alchemy ranked Oathbreaker. MTG, our MTG Arena, they fucking hate alchemy there. Holy shit. 
I know I missed. They've never put the Hedrons back. Best of three. They they really like best of three. If I've been told so many times by that subreddit, if you're not playing best of three, you're not playing Magic. Simple as. No fucking, no fucking ifs and or buts about it. If you are not playing best of three, you are not playing Magic cards. You're playing something else. I guess Hearthstone or something. He knuckle. I don't know. But the point is, again, I need to make this perfectly clear. The only magic cards in the world is best of three. That's it. There's no other game. There's best of three and then there's everything else. Your booze need your booze mean nothing to me. I've seen what makes you cheer. <laughs> yeah, that's that situation. It's that situation for sure, cookies. Let's see if I can get a mana. Nope, I sure can't. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't matter what actual people want to play or like. That's not the point. Katilda on her murder. Yeah, I honestly the time sync that best of three games are is just a lot. You got you got to clear your whole schedule if if you're in best of three and somebody wants to rope you. You're gonna be there for two three hours. You know what I'm saying? You better uh better you better start making some calls. Tell people you ain't gonna be around for a while. Ooh, two damage. Twin shot. Leave. Gain a life. Oof. Tax. Schloof. <clears throat> now it's gonna crap out more tokens if he affects anything. But we're gonna... You wanna try it, guys? Let's try it. Anduril, Flame of the West. We're gonna put it on King of the Oathbreakers. That is not canon at all, guys, okay?
the game. The game, everybody. Can you hear everything, guys? Are we getting any audio? By the way, what about now? There we go. That's better. La <sighs> yeah, I am. The, I am the alchemy guy, man. I am the alchemy guy. <sighs> Which is so funny because uh, wizards, when releasing new alchemy cards, did not uh, did not contact me. They went to a cosplayer instead. So that's kind of fun. Yeah, my Sarns Forces Grixis has... Uh, my Alchemy decks have 1,400 views right now. Uh, they're the top three on Aether Hub. The fourth one down under me has 74. So... I would have been really happy to be involved in their alchemy. Did I say something? Okay, good. You might as well attack with the spirit. You're not going to block with him. Uh, yeah, I go first here. I don't know about Valor's Stance. The part of the reason I want Valor's Stance is because it does trigger on, uh... It does trigger if I attack someone. Yeah. Um, Red Nunez, Urkish Burmester, to Kerber to the Urkish Burmesters. Oh, that's fantastic! Boom, boom! Look at that, fantastic! How's about we put down wedding announcement? Can I make a video on my deck making process? I may, I may do a deck building video. What's up, Seaburks? Uh, I might do a deck building video just generally about how to deck build, what the theory. I have done some with the Black Council on my podcast. Um, so there's been that. We we have done kind of how to build a deck um, on the podcast. So that's fun. Um, but I, I could do one independently of all that. Hey, you're back back from the 90s. Well, that's the best place to be from, man. If you got to be from one place, I'd recommend being from the 90s. The future was looking good, and now not so much anymore. Oh, Morgul Knife Wound. Very nice. I wonder if I'm going to block the fucking enchantment that's going to hurt me with that guy. I wonder. Uh, Let's draw a card. Let's do that. We do Vob. Let's do Vob. Let's Vob it up. Let's lock out that Ghoulie Ghoul. Tax. Oof. Flip. C. Burks. B. Serks. Yeah, we do a lot of deck building stuff in the in the Discord. We got deck building explored extraordinaire uh, in there. His name is Trexodactyl. My name's Trexodactyl, and I'm here to say I love make a jank and a jank all day. That's his uh, that's his little theme song right there. Um, his jank theme song. Um, push.
Really? He thinks I'm not gonna... I wouldn't sacrifice to save her? Boof, boof. One ping. Alright, Katilda. Donhart murder. Kerberda to murder to darn hurt. Er, murder to darn hurt. Er. Ker, er. Schmurder. Uh oh. I did it all for the shield rusty. I can kill her with Valorous. Ooh, King of the Oathbreakers. Hey, we did that. Really gonna go after? Oh, there's another shell dressy. Look at that. Boof, boof. Really wants to get rid of that dressy. Um. How's about we do this? And a real flame of the west. Um, and then we say double the amount of tokens are generated. Generate that many tokens. And then we say schwingo, and then we say bingo. Yeah, that's the stuff right there. Oh yeah. Yeah, that, now now we're talking. Now we're talking. Spirits, let the spirit move you. There we go. What's the Discord? Damn, I got no bots in this. I'm gonna have to up my YouTube game. Um, let me pull the uh. Let me pull the watch. call it. I really should make you a. You and Cookies really should just be a mod. Um, uh, let me pull up a uh, invite. All right, here's the invite. Do do do. All right, nice win there. I have an Angle deck and a Selesnia deck. Um, what kind of title do you want, Cookies? Chief Baker. Let's do Bob. The Stone Brain. Koilos. Chief. Okay, I read that the wrong way. Hey, what's up, Dark Reaper? Dark Reader 412, bro. I am such a fan of the edgy 90s name. Dark Reaper, hell yeah, Chief. Yeah, I read that wrong immediately, and I was like, I'm, I'm gonna get my Discord's gonna get banned if, if we call it that. Um, so I don't think we can do Chief Breeding. <laughs> Chief, <laughs> Chief Breeding Officer. <laughs> <laughs> dark reaper dark reaper brought the luck make sure you go over there and like the stream why do you like a stream i couldn't tell you it'd be a secret as why you like a stream
Got the Discord, no one on. No one's on the Discord. Let me see if you really did. Yeah, hey, what's up, Burks? There I am. The Holy Ghost. Do you think people will get offended if I call this deck the Holy Ghost? Uh, let's drop... Uh, uh, I actually, I don't, probably don't need that point. I don't need that, that swamp until. There's literally an AI. Do you think Sevis is going to be mad that I used white? I'm always worried about it. They make me feel so guilty for even using white in decks that aren't mono white. But just the color. Probably a removal. They're mousing over it right now, so. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I have brick in my head. Anyone ever listen to bit? Uh, I anyone listen to Ben Folds? I have Queens of the Stone Age and brick in my head. Up the stairs to her apartment. They're not home to find us out. Hey, what's up, Olvir? We'll see you. You'll see a copy of this deck on uh the channel later. Oof. Go. Thank you for coming to Ulvir. Try not to Ulvir into traffic. Wolf. Wolf is Ulf, so I know it's Wolf something. Oof, King of the Oathbreakers. He's functionally indestructible. Them Crooked Vultures, of course I have. I actually used to be in a band called... Uh, the Starving Buzzards. I always felt like them Crooked Vultures and Eagles of Death Metal should have been done a whole birds theme tour. I feel like that would have been a positive development overall. Oof, I did that the wrong way. Phases out, and then when it comes back, it's going to happen. Life and draw card. Is he going to kill that? That's the real. Bank Buster. Myth Busted. To the start of their next owner turn. Yeah, I figured he'd that and that very nice. Could book Phoenix Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix, them crooked vultures, Eagles of Death Metal. Uh, how do I... What is my day job? I'm a social worker. Isn't that weird? This is my side hustle. Yeah, this is how I do it on the side. You know, it's real sad that we never got Prince and Queen to go on a uh, tour together. That honestly just... Oh, look. Raven's really going to do it this time. Watch out, everyone. This is not a Nazgul deck. It's a Spirits deck. It's a Final Fantasy Spirits Within deck.
What's up, Drizzy P? Drizzy P with the fizzy P coming in with the glizzy P. Ew, glizzy P, gross. Um, Thrown a black Nazgul going a lot of stuff since then. Finally made it to a live stream. Yeah, I'm starting to do this a little bit more. Doing a more live stream YouTube type thing. Um, let's do this. Do that. Gonna phase out. Do, 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 do. All right, so I've got a pretty good play here. Can you break down the deck after this game? After this game, no. At the end of the stream, yes. You will get a full shakedown breakdown. This is all go also going to be an actual video, so your name will be in the video if you watch it tomorrow, Drizzy P. It'll be somewhere in the gameplay section. I will do the full shakedown breakdown, though. Roughly, what you want to do is spam the board with pl uh, um, uh, is with tokens. You have a little bit of life gain. You got a little bit of token goodness. You have big plays. I'm going to show you a real big play we're going to do here with Anduril Flame of the West as it goes. That's going to phase out. That There you go. That He didn't think that through at all. Um, he really wants to flip that. Uh, he really wants to flip that Dominaria, I guess. Real bad. But I might cost him the game here. Um, I could ossify it, but I could also just swing in with a huge army. Oof. That one. Watch this. Okay, so there's another spirit. Let's put down Andrew of Flame of the West. Um, put down Ossification. <laughs> gotta get. I think we gotta get rid of that. that f hey, what's up, Matthew Caballero? Do 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 do. By the way, that means night. For all of you who don't know. All the new people here, I, I know that a lot of you are actually on Twitch. If you're new and never seen me in a live stream, you can actually subscribe to me. I know it doesn't make sense subscribing to a YouTube channel. Um, but it's certainly something that can... He's going to try to oath break it. He's going to do another spell on it. it. Even though it didn't work, he's 100%. This time it's re he's really going to do it. This time it's gonna work. He knows it. He's he's Lucy lining up that football. He's 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 uh he's Charlie Brown going for the hit. He said, "All right, this time it's really gonna work. This time, you guys." Archangel Elspeth, good card. How Gibbs money? Yeah, if you're already subscribed on Twitch, I don't obviously expect you to subscribe here. But for the people who are never on Twitch and. If you do, I'm going to add more emojis. I'm going to do some more stuff. Ooh, got that. I would have gone for the other. Because I'm going to fly right over it. How gives monkeys? That flies. Okay. Wing. Oop. 
Da, 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 da. Right, let's do this. This. Till the end of turn, double the amount of tokens are generated. Feet picks? Nah. I'm gonna actually... I've been really debating it. I'm, I'm gonna start an OnlyFans and I'm gonna read... Uh, really old, uh... Really, really old, um... Public domain vampire books. Yeah, that's the good stuff right there. Why do that? Now all the shit's flying. I don't... There he goes. He figured it out. Alright, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Submit zero. Angel. Yes! Liking the video is, I've said it before, you are putting in an order for more J Villain videos. That is what you're doing by liking a video. That is what you're doing. You're saying, I would like to order more J Villain video. Please, thank you. Uh, no blocks, take the hit there. That is 100%. And I've even said, you can even not actually enjoy the video and say, oh, I don't like this color combination. I'm not going to like it. But by liking the video, you are ordering more J Villain. I'll be your huckleberry. L7. 
else but a smite. Oh, that didn't work. No. Pop, pop. I am the one who likens. What does he say all the time? He says, watch out for the like and subscribe. Oh, I'll be your Huckleberry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good phrase. That's from the Tombstone. I'll be your Huckleberry. All right, he's gonna swing that. Praetor Realmbreaker? Um, Praetor Realmbreaker, I hardly know her. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lame ass uh, farewell player, bro. Lame, lame fucking farewell player. Sorry. Start all the farewell players on there. I'd say I'm hurting your feelings, but we all know you don't have any emotions. We all know you're dead inside. Rotation would have saved us. Yeah. Farewell is a bad card. I'm not gonna lie. It's a bad card. It's a it's a bad card. It's not it's not good. H H H H H H H H H H H H H H H Senpai rotation did not notice us. Is that Trexodactyl making an anime reference? Is that Trexodactyl literally making an anime reference right now? Hey, well, thank you for coming, C. Burks. Choose blockers. We'll block that.
All right, so we want to do Anduril Flame of the West. Ugh, I think that maybe we want to do another Wedding Boy. I'm a Wedding Boy. Wedding Boy. Number one alchemy content creator right now. I Yeah, I, I probably. I don't even... I'm not trying to sound like I got a lot of hubris, man, but probably, yeah. I think probably one of the bigger alchemy, if... If not number one streamer, I think Numskull might be bigger as a streamer. Um, but uh, as far as actual videos, I don't think there's anybody getting more views on the Alchemy videos. So now the question is uh, ossification. Who's he tail swiping? Boom. Ossified. Ossified and Yossified. Yeah. Boom. Boom. Lily of the Billy. There she goes. Aws. Our player sacrifice the creature. That one. Okay, so we're gonna do the real flame of the west. I'm gonna go in, up, boom. I'm gonna let that guy hit me. Okay. Uh, each player discards a card. Actually, kind of hurts him because my homestead can come back. Right. Now we activate Underworld Flame of the West. Now we activate Catilda, Catilda, Dawn Heart, Sean Heart. And then we say, Men of the West, I hold you to your oath. Buff, buff, boom! There we go. That's what we're looking for right there.
when you suddenly have two additional 3-3 three, three flyers, or possibly even four additional 3-3 three, three flyers, it's hard to really set up an effective block for that. It's not easy. I told you you were going to like Elden Ring. You didn't want to believe me. You were like, Elden Ring is stupid. It's stupid. Anyone who plays is stupid idiot. I was like, that's not fair. All right. Vob. Ugh. I don't like that mana base. Let's try another one. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's actually much better. Keep, I, hmm, we could probably lose that Kaya. Let's try that. Maybe we'll pull a white. Green. Very unusual to see green. It's not unusual to see green cards. He's ramping. Unfortunately, you gotta bolt the bird, or rather, stone the halfling. Or burn the witch. Burn the witch. Dun, dun, burn the mash and bone. The first to speak burn, burn, is the first to lie. So tell me, um, did you, uh, how long did it take you to s notice that Ronnie has a secret ghost face? Did you notice it right away, or were you one of the people that never noticed it? That's the real question for you. The real question. Yeah, some people, like me personally, I for some reason did not notice it until way later on that she had a blue ghost face. And there's other people that were like, they still post on the subreddit, oh my god, Rani has a weird ghost face? Called her magic face a few times. Oh my goodness. That's very insulting. Wow. So you're saying Rani just out here doing magic face in the year of our Lord 2023, year of the shattering. running down the clock right now. Did you find her body? You know, you could find her, her actual dead body with her OG red hair. Oh, okay. So he said no, thank you. All right, not bad. I had fun with this one. Really did have fun with it. Pretty positive experience. Oh. Oof, oof. Sleep with the fishes, eh? Right. All right, guys. I'm thinking I'm gonna leave it right there for this deck for tonight. Pretty good overall. I'm like I said, I'm having a pretty good time with it. Um, all things considered, it's it's pretty dece. I I'm like I don't know what to say. It's when it goes off, it goes off. Um, you know, I'm not using any of the major things. Probably the most meta thing that I'm using with this is like, uh, what's that one called? Um, wedding invitation. Like that's the most, <laughs> that's the most kind of meta card that I'm using. Everything else is kind of, you know, new and exciting and fresh. So, um, yeah, try this one, get your spirits moving. 
I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.